When I see a patient at the OHSU Spine Center and I want to make a diagnosis, it all starts with their story. What is it that may have led to their pain? What seems to make it worse in the course of a day and what makes it better? And what kind of treatments have they already tried to have an effect on the pain and what were those effects? And the next thing I'm going to do is a good detailed physical examination. But the physical examination is really important to find out what's causing the pain and what their current status is. More often than not, I can come up with a pretty good idea about what's causing the back pain and what sort of treatments might be available to help with it. The most likely reason for someone to have a sudden onset of back pain is muscular. They're doing their own activities, they feel a pull in their back, and that may be very sore for a couple of days or a couple of weeks. The second most common type of back pain is from arthritis in the back. That may be present with muscular pain. And the third most common problem that I see would be more like a sciatica picture. That's where somebody who has a disc herniation in the back causing some compression of the nerve. We can tell it's a dangerous problem if somebody's starting to have weakness if they're losing sensation in their extremities, or if they're having incontinence. For most people, those things are not occurring. It's pain, and it's bothersome, and it gets in the way of their daily activities, but it's not a dangerous problem. In that case, these considerations are important for self-care. Number one, stay physically active as much as possible. It's important not to become deconditioned. Number two is to maintain a healthy weight. If someone's very overweight, that's obviously an excessive strain on their back, and it even contributes to neck pain. And number three is to maintain good nutrition and hydration status. The advantage for a patient coming to the OHSU Spine Center is that we have four disciplines working together. When I'm in clinic, I'm there with a neurosurgeon and an orthopedic surgeon, and we spend a lot of the day talking about ideas, patients, reviewing scans together. This has enhanced my knowledge considerably and it's enabled me to provide better care to patients, but it's also familiarized me with what my surgical colleagues are expecting and what they can do for patients. I love to be able to help people who are struggling with pain to be able to be more functional and help them achieve their goals. That's the most rewarding part of the job.